what a confusing thing. Like, obviously, uh, in your eyes, it seems that Keiichi cares for Shion to this extent. Even though he doesn't realize that you are actually Shion. And yet, in your mind, though, it, it kind of gets a reaction out of you, that's for sure. もう<笑> <笑>やくそく<笑> たぶん私は約束を守らないよ。鬼だから。その時は仕方がないさ。ケイちゃん、今の シオンは鬼が殺してしまう。それはもう決められたことだから止められない。だから諦めて。そして二つ目の願い。この体をミオンに返すこと。これももう無理。今日を境にミオンが戻ってくることはもうない。今日以降、もし私の姿があったとしても
しばらくケイちゃんにはお休みしててもらうねすぐに大石が来てくれるからちょっとの我慢ごめんねミオンを怪我してここに入る前に約束した何があっても俺の中のミオンは変わらないでも忘れて今日以降もしも私を見かけても近寄らないでねそれは私の屍に取り付いた鬼なんだから《シオンさあ出ておいで》あんたがケイちゃんを見逃してほしいと祈ったからお姉はちゃんと約束を守ったよケイちゃんはスタンガンで伸びてるだけもうすぐ警官隊が来るから解放されるよ Alright well Time to see what lies beyond、uh, ケイチゴエアンコンシャス In chapter 2でもシオンにはまだ用があるここから脱出するのその前にシオンあんたにミオンを返すわえ<笑>脱げその服交換だよまたああほら紙のゴムバンドあんたから先にどうぞ井戸の底にあるとかいう隠し通路を探すのお姉ちゃんあんたの望み通りケイちゃんは救った代わりにあんたを殺してもいいってことだったもんね<笑>お姉はちゃんと約束は守るよミオンの格好をしたあんたはここから落ちておだぶつ。私はシオンの格好だからねケイちゃんが被害者だと立証してくれるよ私は岩ワの中で警官隊の助けを待つまあ指紋なんかでバレるだろうけどさその頃にはどこかへ身を隠してるってわけお姉もなかなかやるでしょ<笑>私を殺すとサトシの復讐になるそこまで分かってるなら覚悟はいいよねそこまで落ちてサトシ君に謝っといでお姉この底にはねサトシはいないよはあんたら言わなかったっけここに捨てられてるってそのザキ家で殺されてればここに捨てられてると思うそうは言ったこの後に及んでややこしいことを言うねもうちょっと分かりやすくお姉に言ってごらん OK 私もねさサトシのこと好きだったんだよはあそりゃそうだろうね。あたしが好きになるくらいだもん。だから、サトシが消えたとき、わたしも悲しくて、悔しくて、いろいろとね、調べたんだよ。それで。And you're saying that he's not there. あっちゃんにね、
爪を締め殺してやろうってくらいにそしたらバッチャが次期当主にしか話さないよ絶対に内緒だよって。And there it is. あの事件がそのザキ家が関わってないってわけそんなの信じると思う And that's why like after Satoshi's disappearance when you Mion showed that you two were hit with punishment the same way as Shion you were saying with confidence that the Sonozakis had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I, you know, I did take to heart thinking that truly the Sonozakis and you had nothing to do with Satoshi's disappearance. I still believe you to this day. I don't know 特にサトシの失踪については本当に知らないって言ったのだってサトシとお姉の交際バッチャは許したんだよ爪を見事剥いで見せたから全部忘れるって言って嘘だ嘘だ手任せを言うなじゃあ誰がサトシ君を消したの誰がそれだけはわからないでもね、そのザキ家じゃないバッチャじゃないあんただって、たたりのシステムは知ってるでしょ別にサトシ君を襲えとわざわざばあさんが指示しなくても、気を利かす誰かが襲う。I mean, that is a system that you yourself made up with, like, in your own mind, Shion. It's a very confusing one, and admittedly, if such a thing. If such a system were to exist, it's kind of hard to prove it. Anyone can do it. So you s h a k e t s o g a Because, like, indeed, like, let's say that if it, it was this system of yours. Like in place. Even if uh, uh, Oreo did forgive you, Shion, and Satoshi for it, and she decided, you know what? Satoshi is not gonna be involved in the curse like whatsoever. He is gonna live for the rest of his life. That doesn't mean that the memo was sent to the rest of the village, though. Like some random ass villager, according to your system. Would、uh, end up、uh, going after Satoshi. And then、uh, Ori would find out about、uh, Satoshi's uh,、um, disappearance and be like, uh oh. Well,、oh, that's not good. Shion is definitely gonna be pissed at me for, for my broken, supposed broken promise. Like, that would be a situation going on. 
can be proven at this point? Well, surely not in the state that you are right now. That's for sure. But I, I, I honestly don't believe in this system of yours. I don't. There is a certain force out there that is doing this. バッチャはね、お おかしいよね。でも、いないの。いないんだって。フルでリカが私に首をかきむしる注射で襲いかかってきたってのは話したよね。Yes. Yes, what is your opinion on that one, Mion? Do you know something? Especially now that I remember the end of chapter one with the syringe that you had as well. キュウソネコをかむって状況じゃない。向こうから訪ねてきて、サイルスプレーと注射器で襲いかかってきた。おそらく同じ注射で富武さんが殺されてるんだと思う。それはわからない。you don't know. Are you sure? A bit unexplainable, even I don't know how that power like exists to begin with, but Rika surely is aware enough to use a strange syringe out of nowhere. Some of fashion to how apparently somebody affected Tomitake with that syringe, if I am to believe now that it is because of a syringe. Remember, I... I kept thinking about non-evasive, like, non-physical ways that would affect Tomitake, in according to the first investigation session. But now I'm back to the drug thing and say that, okay, Maybe the police didn't uh, figure out that at least there was a syringe wound on Tomitake. That's because he was hit in the neck with the syringe. The same neck that he tore apart, thus making it difficult for the police to figure out that it was some drug inside the syringe. So it kind of makes me think that it was a syringe. With that being said, where... Like, where did she get that syringe from? Why was she using that syringe of all things? The answer lies in that clinic, dammit. I need to get there at the clinic. Someday. Ha ha ha! 
やるねシオン最後の最後で私の復讐劇をひっくり返そうってわけお姉ちゃん信じて私は敵なんかじゃないあみやん Like, why? Why now? Why couldn't he have just said these exact same words? Why couldn't you have had this same exact discussion from the beginning? Why now? You saw everybody die, and now you finally have the heart to say all this stuff in front of Shion. Maybe a lot of things would have been avoided if, if you were to tell Shion straight from the beginning about all this. At the very least, after Oreo's death. It's very unfortunate. Now it's a little bit late. Shion has done the deed and killed everybody. And how much did that help in solving the issue of all these deaths and disappearances? Not much, to be quite honest, if I'm to think about it. It surely has given me more food for thought. But other than that, it all ended in the same way. Kinda. I'm starting to think that the destruction of Hinamazawa, that might be the true goal of whatever plan is in motion behind the scenes. If I'm to think that. Takano is behind this. It may very well be that this destruction is something that she had in plan. Thinking of the parallel between、um, Shion and Takano. Actually, did I,、uh, did I bring this up, this idea? You know what? I'm gonna leave it for the investigation session, like next time. I get the feeling that. There is a reason why Takano has been shown to investigate the history of Hinamizawa, like a lot. And it may be in similar fashion to how Shion was acting when Satoshi disappeared. シオンあんたが本当に無実ならあんたは天国へ行けるねサトシ君に謝っておいてお姉天国でサトシ君に謝って私は天国には行けないから謝れない Alrighty then. The shocking end. And, well, now it is time for us to see what happens next. I mean, 
if you're not gonna burn the notebook and all that, maybe you could leave it for someone else to find it? Someone like, say, Oishi or Takasaka? Just saying. Alright, and that was the last tip. As she is thinking of ways to kill herself, soon enough, as we will clearly see. So, now you're starting to get affected by this, like the footsteps, Oyashiro's presence. You know, as I went through chapter 5 and all that, 
while it is still a little bit unclear how I should feel this disease that I'm thinking of, how it affects the mind and such. Because obviously it seems that, like, you know, the footsteps are happening, some weird unknown presence is around you, this invisible thing that is watching over you, you start becoming paranoid, you start becoming more and more stressed, as if demons are closing in on you. However, you do. You guys remember that I've also been talking about things that you see but are not actually real. And I was thinking of how seeing demonic Rena, like the early parts of chapter one, like seeing how this cute bubbly Rena turns in such so, in such a demon in front of Keiichi. And I was thinking that was part of the disease as well. But more and more I'm starting to think that those images may have been real. Simply because that's the same thing that I was thinking of like of the end of chapter two. That maybe this whole torture thing that happened like in front of Keiichi he was just in his mind. Maybe it was because of all the stress that he accumulated that he started feeling that he was tortured when in actuality something else may have happened. But no. Clearly what happened to Keiichi in chapter 2, it happened. When we see Rena and Mion in like the first chapters with these glowy demonic eyes watching over like looking at uh, Keiichi and being my my aren't you being a little bit naughty lately how about you stay a little bit calm and not do things that you shouldn't all right Keiichi that may very well be real no part of a disease of seeing things that are not there now of course it makes sense like seeing it from Rena because she, she, she clearly was haunted by by this Oyashiro curse, so for her to act like that, I guess it is as real as it can get. Although it's kind of hard to believe for Mion, to be quite honest. Except for, for Satoshi's disappearance, not a lot of trauma may, like happened in her past, as far as I can see. Like, the Sanzakis surely have not died over the years, that's sure, in comparison to the whole Joes or the Furudes and all that, which would surely affect uh, Satoko and Rika. Like, if you are to start seeing Satoko and Rika act like maniacal demons, you can see why, because of the trauma. That and maybe the curse like slash disease is affecting that too. It could it's not as if it can only be one or the other. Both may be affecting one another too. Like like both complement each other in a way. Again, like the snowball effect that I was thinking of before. Neon she definitely seems like the person that kind of doesn't believe in the curse. And only that, but she seems strong enough to not be affected by all this in comparison to the other girls. Because we haven't really seen or heard of Mion go through any traumas in similar fashion to Rena or Rika, Satoko, and especially Shion right over here. But maybe something did happen and we just didn't see it yet. Either way... So in conclusion, like the footsteps, the weird vision, like like the weird sensation that somebody is there, like demons, random sounds, anything that can trigger your paranoia to the maximum, those are true. Well, those are part of the disease. But Keiichi, for example, seeing the girls acting in demonic ways... This may not be because of uh, the disease. He truly sees like these girls acting in such abnormal ways because of the trauma that they went through in the past. Those are not to be denied. 
by the disease alone, by the disease that Keiichi suffers, that is. Now, Rena and the rest of the girls acting in this way because of the disease as well, that could very well be possible, but it's also because of the trauma that they went through. やかましいよ。ほら、迎えに来たんだよ。But wait, what about Keiichi getting stabbed near his house? I get the feeling that if that were to happen again, you would think that maybe Shion disguises herself as Mion again to confuse Keiichi and then stab him and then go back home and, well, the fall would happen here, but if this happens right now, then... And if our Mion died at the bottom of the well... Could it be that what Keiichi saw, like near the house, was not Mion? Nor Shion? Okay, never mind. So, this is gonna happen. Like, she's gonna go to Okeichi, like, pretend to be Mion, and then the rest, the rest is history. みよ。お久しぶり。どう。元気にしてた。My <laughs> god. This is like the most deranged kind of narration that I have seen in a very long time. 
like the khe is and like the energy that is giving off truly she lost her mind like at the very least when we went through the killing spree those days yeah it surely felt like a demon but at least she was being rational about it in a demonic way but this is just this is just sad Like all the exclamation points, like the ke he he he, like this inner fight between Shion and Mio, and it feels like it's like it's even harder and harder to even distinguish what is happening. Throw a stone. want to receive a doll from Satoshkun, like, there's not even like a, like a, a smooth transition from one thought to the other, like, immediately, I want to receive a doll, it's like a gremlin, like a demonic gremlin, like, thinking like this, and not typical thoughts that flows well, like that of a human. Oh my... こんなところを<笑> もう<笑> 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like a dream at this point. Oh, and there it is. He fell. And you said to yourself that, at the very least, you would have the luxury of killing yourself the way you wanted. Which I thought that was going to happen too. By you purposely falling off. But... You couldn't even do it the right way, the way you wanted. Apparently it has been decided that you will just slip off like right then and there. Maybe you won't next time. Guess we'll have to see. Rest in peace, Shion. At least wherever you are gonna go now, you'll feel a lot better than what you went through right now.
今日までの出来事が全て夢だったらいいのになって何度も思っただから書いてみた書いて夢になると信じてほらよく漫画の中にあるじゃない私の目の前に食べきれないほどのお菓子が積み上げてあってそれに手を伸ばしまさに食らいつこうというところで無水に起こされて目を覚ますのそれはとてつもなく長い夢で私は一年以上も眠っていたことになるそう私は監督の野球チームの試合の後宇宙店に駆け出して赤信号の横断歩道に踊り出してバイクにはねられてしまったそれでずっとずっと一年以上も意識が戻らなくてようやく目が覚めるのまぶたを開けた時そこには病院の天井が飛び込んでくるそれからずっと看病しててくれたさとしくんが覗き込んでくれてさすがにこれはできすぎかでもいいよねそういうことにしてもいいよねまれてきてきごめんなさい
よっしゃーお昼だお昼うん ?What's this? そらレナ机をくっつけろ<笑>今日はレナのお弁当はミートボールなんだよおおそりゃいいねおじさんもぜひいただくよ Hmm. What is this? h i g u r a s h i why are you showing me this like right now, like this quickly after all that happened? Hora, Riga chan, tsukue, tsukue. Kutsuke no desu yo. Eta. Oh, ha 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 ha. Zan den no koto ni meat ball wa atakushi mo dai kobus de kozai mashte yo. みなさんに一口でも口に入るとは思わないことでしたよ。残念。そうはいかないです、さとこ。明らかに野菜不足のさとこには、特別にかぼちゃ弁当を用意させてもらいました。うわ、そりゃいじめだぞ、しよう。うわあ、かぼちゃは嫌ですの。ほら、そのかぼちゃ嫌いはダメです。かぼちゃはですね、栄養価にとても優れているんです。Yeah. The nicest that Shion has ever been to Satoko thus far. Is this a dream of. Like Shion realizing her mistake and sort of undoing it via this dream or. Well.、No. Hopefully, it's another timeline. A better timeline. So that is a car in a Satoko, a Tokuni Ayoni Kyotska and I to a canine this yo. What does she know? Men of Kuro Yuchiwa, Henshokua Mitomenaino de Sono Kakugo de Onegai Shimas. Hora, Hora, Mina Modozo, Dozo, Hoko Hoko no Kabuchate, a Makte Oishin this yo. The interesting thing is that. Well, we know how the perspective and narration goes, like in Kikurashi, in the sense that we, all, we always follow someone's、uh, vision from first person perspective. Now, of course, that's excluded for,、uh, like, like, all cast reviews at the end of each chapter. And I do know that for the answer arcs, There's not going to be like any all cast reviews anymore, it seems. So, would you say that this is. Like, in similar fashion to that? Like, where the rules d o n t does n t apply? Or the rules still apply, s and we are following someone's perspective right over here from first person? It's just that it's none of these kids. Neither Shio nor Keichin or no, no one else. Money, money. Money, money. Satoko, Karenara, a m a k t e o i s h i n o d e s o Oh, Tashkan, Korea, Girna. Kabocha no Amamiga Yaminaku, so did it s e t o o k o o my Kura, m o t a n a なんですってかぼちゃは嫌いですけど言い方が気に入りませんわそら言った言った一口にガバッと言ってみなよほらね美味しいでしょうーんまあその食べれなくもないですわね当たり前ですサトコがカボチャ嫌いを克服できるように日夜研究してますのでさてこの調子で今年中にナスピーマンアスパラガスと制覇していきましょう冗談はごめんですわ私が沖ノ宮の学校に転校しましたよダメですサトシ君から頼まれている以上、健康管理は私の担当です。Unless it's Satoshi, maybe 
Maybe we're following Satoshi's perspective right over here. Yeah. That would be lovely too. All right. The tips for reading room has been locked. The staff room has been unlocked. What? What is this? It's a thank you message for purchasing the game. A happy diary and disowned. Okay, so there is, there are some actually some brand new tips like after this. Huh. Let's see, is it like in the extras? It may be in the extras. Uh, okay, apparently so. Happy Diary and the Zoned. Alright, well, let's see what these are. Eh, Kasai Shinga Fumikonda Tokiniwa, Stunai wa Mujin de, Beranda no Mano ga Hiraki Panashi. Sono Toki ga Tobi Ori Jikoku des. Sore de, Sono Mashita no Gokai Elevator Floor no Yare ni, Ichido Ochite no Shinto. Sono Shibaraka Ato ni,横に転がって再落下、死亡。加西氏が飛び降りを疑って地上を調べたときに遺体が見つからなかったのはこの時点ではエレベーターフロアの屋根の上で混沌中だったからです。前原圭一が刺されたのはほぼ同じ頃。その
名前の入れ替えが分かったところでかく乱の息を出ませんがねこのノートどこまで信じていいのやらもし本当なら古で理科の死のあたりが怪しすぎるからなうん Her death specifically? In what way? 異常者の日記ですよ読んでるとこっちまで変になりそうです。なんなんほどんしたかほどんしたかシャラ。レレンコク。最後のページの生まれてきてごめんなさいなんて。読んでるとこっちまで飛び降りたくなりますよ。うでも、幸せな日記じゃないですか。幸せですか、oh, happy. この日記だけでサトシ君って名前何回くらい出てくると思いますシオンさんは本当にサトシ君のことが好きだったんだなってその好きというのがね若さゆえの勘違いでずれちゃって Her life was not that great On her development, emotionally speaking. The Sonazakis surely have、um, screwed the porch on that one, on raising Mion and especially Shion the right way. If they did, then a lot of this wouldn't have happened. I mean, for, for Pete's sake, like, I know I'm gonna see like, a particular person in a little bit. I've seen it in like the thumbnail of the tip, like right there, like a couple of minutes ago. But nobody、uh, wanted to give Shion a lesson on love, like, you know, from mother to daughter, like, teach a young girl like Shion how to properly feel about a boy in a very healthy way, see things in a healthy way. No? I'll tell you not. I, I haven't seen a glimpse of that like, at all throughout chapter 5. Sometimes it kind of makes you question if these、uh, parents of Xion、uh, like, ever even existed to begin with. <laughs> Alright, speaking of which. ねえ、教えてよ、母さん。No. 鬼ババとどういう喧嘩をしたわけ ?About f l o w e a I thought we were gonna have a future with the mother and Kasai right over here talking about the past events, including Shion and Mion's death, but apparently this is a time where Shion is still alive. Maybe somewhere during chapter 5. But nonetheless, you! Uh, Akane must have been your name, right? I think so, yeah. I did see your name, like in the credits list, like at the beginning. You! You have been very unimportant in this entire thing. <laughs> Can do s a l i r u n a n t you put it at the w a k e t h o w Oh, my mo could I don't know, Cotton, you kill me, that's Kinaine. Ma, so so so, Hanastemo, a c a r a n i t o s a n i k a 実はね父さんと結婚したいって言ったらねダメだって言われちゃったのよえ何それ私も当時はだいぶ社内着方してて呆れられててねそのあげく連れてきた男が人気者だったわけでしょそりゃ大喧嘩よいい名付けは当主が決めるなんて言われてそんなの知ったこっかいこんなクソババアこの場で切り伏せたらって大立ち回りよ互いに板の間の日本刀抜いてちゃんちゃんバラバラ<笑>ひえ鬼ババと盾を演じたわけ母さんやるねまあね母さんこう見えても若い頃は武闘派だし
互いに剣道優談だからそりゃあド派手だったわよ周りはおろおろあ<笑>面白かったなるほどねその騒ぎのせいで感動されたわけそうよ感動上等遠慮なく感動もらって父さんと席を入れたわよまけじめってことで爪を剥がされたけどねほら左手の爪だけいびつでしょうわあそれで鬼ババと母さんはずっと仲が悪いわけだね Yeah that's that's nice to know I guess シオン本当はねそんなことないの私と鬼ババ様はちゃんと仲がいいんだよえー、嘘だ鬼ババ様には面倒な世間体があるからね一度でも感動した以上甘くすると示しがつかないしだから私も親類会議とかではおとなしく引っ込んでるけどたまに遊びに行ってのんびりお茶とか飲んでるよ嘘だし実はね内緒よ鬼ババ様もねその昔けじめで爪を吐いたことあるんだってよ今度会ったら左手の爪をよく見てごらんいえ鬼ババは何をやったわけそうね母さんは知らないまあその顔は知ってるな教えてよあれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれ <laughs> Do you think that murder can be justified depending on the motive? Hi, this is Ryukishi 07. Hello there, Ryukishi.、Uh, we meet again, I guess. <laughs> so, you, you are surely making me go through quite a story this time as well, Ryukishi. Quite a.、Uh, quite a downer of a story, indeed. Although I depict many deaths in my work, I often ask myself a question. That question is Is there such a thing as justifiable murder? In our world, murder is persecuted. And the degree of punishment varies depending on the motive and circumstances. Having the different degrees of punishment means that we are putting a value on the dead per person's life. Some scenes justify murdering Higur Higurashi by degrading the life of the victim in those scenes. The players can sympathize with that character more easily. The degree of sympathy would be different from person to person. The people who could sympathize probably felt catharsis, and the people who disagreed with the character might have felt uncomfortable. That's indicated by how opinions were polarized regarding Keiji's actions in Tatari Goroshi. Miyakashi, there are also a number of murders. Yeah, I mean, you know, Chapter 3, we dealt with quite a.、Uh, Disgusting person in the form of Tepe who has done quite a lot of harm to Satoko and Satoshi and the mother, too. No, in the past, but also in the present time at the time. You know, people like that in the real life 
they are seen as probably the most disgusting people that you could ever meet. With the implied actions that Tepe did on Satogo, that's for sure. Both seen and unspoken of. Implied. So, there is no room for sympathy for those kinds of people in real life. And, well, it is a very, very touchy subject to begin with. So... Let's just say that, yes, there are levels of justification and non-justification to people's murders and punishment and what goes through the mind of a person and what they went through. The main character, Shion, tries to earn sympathy for each one of them. How did he feel? How much were you able to sympathize with her? Hmm. Well, it is, it is as I said. Once Mion told us that the Sonzakis had nothing to do with the murders, with the disappearances, I decided to believe her, even if not all the clues were there, and, you know, her reasonings and such were discussed further, to my surprise, at the end of this chapter. I was actually quite surprised that Mion, right near the end, would actually, would actually tell us why she thinks that the Sonazakis had nothing to do with it, which further empowers my ideas about this unknown force out there that has done all this. So, of course, I couldn't agree with murder coming from Xion, like murdering every single person that was that died in Chapter 5. Like, murder should not happen to begin with. It's just that, well, as long as you have like a good start, a good upbringing, None of this should happen in the first place. We're taught more love. Like, we're taught how to be good, like, girls, like, good people in society. Teach them how to be, like, kind people without having to involve this power move that Sonzakis were trying to hold as they were hiding behind the murders, well, actually, no, like, how do I say this, like, trying to hide as if they were the ones who did it, and when in actuality they had nothing to do with it, because this is what conflicted with the lives of Neon, and especially Xion. This thing that Oreo tried to do to stay in power via these deaths, and more importantly, being so secretive, Instead of being 100% honest to Xion and Mion about all this, is what drove Xion to become a person that didn't develop um, the best emotionally, and it's because of that she developed these feelings for for Satoshi, the one person that she thought cared the most about, uh, like, Xion just disappeared. And thus, this love that Xion developed was very unhealthy. Like, it was intense, but he ended up being very health unhealthy to the point where, well, the rest is history. The murders happened because of Satoshi's disappearance. I don't know if I can justify Oreo's way of doing what she did to stay in power, which has affected the lives of these poor girls. At least, not yet. Cause, you know, I have been thinking that maybe deep down Oro is a good person as well, it's just that she's hiding behind this dictator of a, of a head of the family, like such mean and disgusting 
person that keeps everything in check and is the head of the family. There could be a reason for it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe she's doing all this, maybe she tries her best to, to have the family stay in power and use these deaths and disappearances to stay in power so that she can protect the village from some from that same unknown force that I was talking about. Maybe secretly she's trying her best to keep this unknown force in check by staying in power through the Sonozaki so that nothing bad would happen. So instead it comes to a compromise. Instead of this horrible thing to happen to village and having a Oyo stay in power, the two sides, the Sonozakis, more specifically Oryo, and the unknown force have come to a compromise where, you know, only one person dies per year and only one person disappears per year. And that's it. Maybe there is some level of compromise between the two forces that is leading to these murders and disappearances, but at least in Oryo's eyes, it's a better alternative to something much worse. And that much worse situation may end up being the great disaster that happened in Chapter 3. A great disaster that Audio may have tried her best to prevent, like all these years. But at the cost of some people dying each year. But also, more importantly, at the cost of the well-being of, of these poor girls. Maybe. Who knows? I am not uh, opposed to that kind of thing. It's just that, will we ever find out? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we will in the future. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a secret. I'd like to reverse my question this time. What kind of murderer could you sympathize with? If you were to be killed? If I were to be killed? What kind of murderer could, you, could I sympathize with? Well, um, it is like the good old saying, like, monsters are not born, they were created. Like, I like to believe that each person that was born, like, if they were to become killers, it must have been because of some reasons that led them to become monsters, like, whether it's because of their childhood or anything like that. Unless we're talking about diseases, which makes things even more complicated when it comes to that kind of concept. If you can sympathize fun. If you can sympathize, they're just crazy. We cannot put value on human life. It's a sin to even try doing so. A murder is a murder. Nothing more than that. And I just hope everybody can live happily together. How does that sound? That will be lovely, I tell you. Will you agree to that? If you wouldn't, <laughs> Thank you very much for playing Hibarashi when they cry. Kai. Chapter 5, Miyakashi. Yeah, well. You know, I may. may have felt really sad. And. I've been quite a downer with these chapters that you've written. 
Rikishi, but it is a good story nonetheless. You know, once again, you are proving yourself to be a good writer.